It's the stars and stripes, a tribute to our veterans, the new Avenue of Flags. In its first year, the Avenue of Flags honors 24 living and dead veterans. In future years, there will be hundreds more. I would love to see it grow uh, to be several thousand flags, actually. We, I know of a cemetery in Oklahoma that puts up 3,300 flags this year, and they've been doing it for 40 years, so hopefully in 20 to 30 years we'll get there. Among those being honored are the Delgado brothers. What did you think when you saw those flags today? Well, I felt pride in knowing that people remember the people who uh, served for this country. Why are they so important oh, to you? For all the people that they're not here with us. It's just my duty to come out here and be with everybody else. This is really a nice tribute, isn't it? It really is a really, really nice tribute to the veterans. And you're a Korean War veteran? Yes. Uh, this is a nice way to remember your service yes. as well. Yes, not only that, but we have our Korean uh, War Memorial here also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the flags will be taken down on Memorial Day and re-erected next year. I'm Doug Wolf reporting for WAND News.